Alrighty, my mic is finally mic'd up and we've tested it and everything and we know it's working. So, for this video, I decided that I wanted to tell you about what I think is one of the best travel suitcases out there and for relatively cheap. Not really because it was still above 50 bucks, but cheaper than most normal good quality suitcases, but this one is amazing. Anyway, this is the Calpac suitcase, C-A-L-P-A-K, Calpac. And I currently have three of them. These are pretty much the only suitcases I have that I use consistently. Pretty much every single ship I ever go on, this blue one, I'm taking with me everywhere. And I am going to talk about everything that these suitcases check off on the checklist of what I think is required for a suitcase to be good and functional. And yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so there is, like I said, a criteria for what I look for when I'm buying a suitcase. Number one, it has to be hard shell. If you hear movement and stuff, Jamie is cooking in the kitchen. He's like dumping ice right now. I'm not gonna show you because I have my phone set up. But the first thing that I look for is that it is hard shell. Cow pack hard shell. There could be other designs of cow pack. Maybe it's the soft shell or whatever, but I don't ever buy soft shell. I always go for hard shell because I feel like it makes me feel more secure. <laughs> it makes me feel like my stuff is more protected because for some reason I'm thinking that if I put like my phone or something electronic with my laptop in a soft shell suitcase, my clothes aren't going to be enough cushion to protect it versus this. Like if you hit it, it's going to be pretty good. The only exception is that if you put something sharp and ding it, it's going to get a little hole, which is exactly what happened when we took the suitcase to Europe, we got a hole here and we don't really know what caused it. But other than that, it works perfectly fine. Everything was protected inside. We've also got this little dent here. And let me just tell you that we only have dents and holes in the medium suitcase. So I'm thinking the medium might be a little more fragile than the carry-on sizes because I've had this suitcase the longest. This is my first Calpac suitcase and it's just dirty. I don't think I see any dents at all. So A plus for this. This is my first real deal travel suitcase and will probably be the only one I use for a while. Now, second criteria, after it being hard shell, it has to have a TSA lock on it already. And that's exactly what this Calpac suitcase has. It has a TSA lock here already, and I've already programmed it to the number combination that I want. So I'm not gonna demonstrate how the number combination works or else I'm obviously gonna be telling you how to unlock my suitcase. But anyway, for, to set it, there's a little button right here next to the numbers that you have to press down on. I normally use a pen or a pencil. And while you're pressing down, you can change the numbers of what you want your combination to be. And then as soon as you get your numbers, you let go of the button and then it's set and pretty much how it works if you don't already know is that you have your little zipper thingies here to open your suitcase and then you put it in the little holes here but you can only put the zippers into the holes if you're in your combination that you program and so right now this is not the combination that i have programmed therefore my little buttons aren't going in that's it Third criteria, it has to be four wheels, 360 degrees, four wheels. And that's exactly what this Calpac suitcase is doing. 360 degrees, four wheels, easy maneuvering. And so I typically push it around like this, which is pretty standard, I'd say, for 360 degree four wheel suitcases. But sometimes if I like need to rush a little bit more and walk faster, I obviously kick it over and pull it like a normal suitcase. But that at least gives me options of how I can do it versus if you only have two wheels, you can only pull it this way and that's just really inconvenient. I don't know, I like it, it feels smoother. It's not really a necessity, but for me, it's a pretty big deal. So that's what we're going with. The cow pack also has the expanding option. So there's two zippers here. Here's one zipper. This is the first zipper. So that way you can open the whole suitcase in general. And then there's this other zipper where you can expand it if you need more space. So let's open that up. I don't know if you can see that from that far away, but it opens. It just gives you maybe an extra inch or two of space, which has come in handy a couple of times already. I definitely used this feature when I went on my carnival cruise because I think I overpacked a little bit and I also bought souvenirs that I had to bring back with me as well. Oh, and by the way, what you're seeing for my handy dandy blue suitcase is the same exact features that are on this red suitcase. This is Jamie's and our medium sized cow pack suitcase. So I'm not gonna go through every single suitcase. I'm just gonna go through this tiny blue one. It's literally all the exact same thing, I think. I'm pretty sure. We wouldn't have bought it if they didn't meet all the criteria. We're gonna open it up. Oh, not that one. That's the expanding zipper. This is it. All right, so this is the inside of the suitcase. Let me zip this up just so you can accurately see. 
So these are the two sides. Here's side one. It comes with this upper zipper with a mesh pocket. I don't actually know why some pockets have mesh and then other pockets are expanding, but I kind of just use them as pockets for whatever I feel like using them as. And then in this pocket right now, I have a whole bunch of Ziploc bags because I'm very paranoid about the fact that one day all of my stuff's just gonna get dunked in the ocean. But if I had stuff already packed in Ziploc bags, then whenever I recover my suitcase or bags or anything from the ocean, they will be protected and fine in Ziploc bags. And then in this pocket, I have a trash bag for extra dirty clothes if I run a space in my laundry bag and just a Ziploc bag, a smaller one. Um, I think I use this for my dryer sheets. I like to bring dryer sheets to tuck away in my suitcase to keep all my clothes smelling fresh. And also whenever my trash bags and laundry bags start smelling dirty, I put all of my dryer sheets in it. And then let's go ahead and open the suitcase. So on this side, it's just completely flat. And this is the expandable side. So let me open the expansion so we can actually see how much it expands. <laughs> Alrighty, and there we go. So this is the original. This is a regular cow pack suitcase. And this is the expanded. I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but it's a pretty good amount of space. So on this side, there's only one zipper pocket. It is not see-through. So I would think this is maybe more for like undergarments or something or accessories could be, I guess. I just use the pockets for whatever I need them to be. So let's open up this side. Now this side has some extra features. It has a little buckle thing. I don't really know what the purpose of it is. I guess to keep your clothes in place. I mean, I just buckle it every single time I use this side just cause it's there, but I don't think it ever does anything. And then it also comes with this little privacy pocket. Probably put all of my hair pins or hair ties in this or maybe even extra money. And then this side, since it has a little bit less space, it's got these bars that take up a little bit of room. I normally put my clothes on this side because my clothes aren't very big and I'm able to fit all of my clothes here. And then whatever extra I have, like undergarments, socks, bras or toiletries and stuff it'll go on this side since there's more space i know that kind of sounds backwards but it makes sense for me so that's what i do those on this side and then accessories toiletry shoes on this side and that is that that is pretty much the cow pack suitcase there's nothing really special about it it just has every single thing that i really want in a suitcase Well, that's pretty much all I have to say about my cow pack suitcases. It has every single feature, criteria, whatever I want in a suitcase. The hard shell, the TSA lock that's already in there, the expansion, the 360 degree four wheel suitcase spinning, and then it just has space inside, obviously. And a pretty good amount of pockets, I'd say. This suitcase has not failed me yet. The only failure we've had so far is that hole and this dent, but that doesn't make the suitcase any less functional. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you're wondering how much these suitcases cost, this one was, I think, $60 to $70 from TJ Maxx. So I don't actually buy anything from the Cow Pack website, just at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those kind of stores. So this is $60 to $70, and I got this a couple years ago, so it's probably a little more expensive now. This red one is actually the newest addition to our Cow Pack family. This is Jamie's red suitcase, and I want to say this was about $70 to $80. It definitely wasn't more than $100, though, so just keep that in mind. That's not too bad because I feel like for how good quality it is, how durable it is, your TSA lock, the expansion, the 360 degree four wheel spinning feature, I'd say it's pretty good. And also they're going to last us a couple years. So I'm okay with paying that price. This is from Marshall. So TJ Maxx, Marshall's TJ Maxx. And this one is the medium cow pack. I want to say this was a hundred dollars, a hundred or 120 or somewhere between there because I actually ended up using my cash back for this. So I didn't technically have to pay for this. And same thing, hard shell, TSA lock, expansion, 360 degrees, four wheels spinning, and it's great. How pack is definitely the way to go if you want a starter suitcase for traveling. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Comment down below if you have any other suitcase recommendations because I am willing to try other ones. It's just for now, pretty much have all the suitcases we need. But let me know if you also want the same criteria in suitcases as I do or if there's another feature that would be really helpful that I don't have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!